Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and uh, this video tutorial is aimed to give you an overview of uh, development in MQ and as administration as well. So to give you a little background about me, I have uh, 5 years of IT experience and I have been only working with the middleware tools and mainly I have been working with uh, IBM tools like uh, IBM MQ version 7, 7.5 and currently I am working on 8. And other than MQ, I have been working with uh, Message Broker, Data Power XP60, XP62, and MQFT as well. So, other than this, I have worked with ProgeNet CyberFusion Suite, which is basically a managed file transfer uh, software. And currently, I am working as a Mule Soft developer. So, in this part one of video series, we will be seeing how to install MQ in a Windows uh, operating system. So, as we go, I'll give you a short introduction of what uh, MQ is all about. So, MQ is a, IBM MQ is a messaging software which is used to transfer messages between different applications. So, you can install MQ in nearly some 35 plus operating systems. But today, we will be doing the installation in uh, Windows OS. So, let's get straight into it. So, to get the binary file, it is very simple. You have to just Google for IBM MQ trial. And here, you can just go to this link. So, for our tutorials, we'll be using the latest version, version 8. So, here you have options. You can either download 7.1, 7.5 or 8. So, we'll be downloading 8. So, you have to choose your language. So, I'll choose English. Continue. So, you'll be asking for some information about you. So, I'll just fill in my information. It is just enough if you provide the mandatory information. So, educating myself on the technology, you can have it as influence or recommend. I don't need any communication. Okay. So, you have to just read the agreement terms and confirm it. So, I have already read it. So, it, you can just have a glance of the terms and conditions. So, you will be taken to the next screen. So, which has the binary files for different OS. If you see, this is for AAX. So, and now this is for uh, Linux. And uh, this is the one we are interested in. Windows. So just select this and click download now. I have already downloaded that file so it shows me that it is already available. So it, it is around uh, 512 MB so it might take uh, 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 30 minutes depending upon your internet connection. So we will go straight into I will just maximize this. So, just unzip your installation file. Just go insert an installation file. And you can see a set of file over here. Just double click this. So, it will show you about the software requirements. So, you can just click in this to know if whether your uh, system has all, all the prerequisites satisfied. So, it's all okay now. You can have it as no. I'll let you know what is the uh, Reason behind this later. MQ installation. So you can select your installation language. So we will be using English and you can launch IBM MQ installer with this. So by the time the installation happens, let me give you some glance about what MQ is. So I have already told you it's a messaging software which uses queues to transport from one application to another application. Uh, 
so just agree this terms and condition but have a careful glance about this and for our uh, demo purpose it is okay if you use this typical version we don't have to have any customized version okay it might take uh, some time so as i told it can be installed in any any os linux linux and windows so this use you and uh, strength and advantage if your enterprise consists of different uh, application running in different os you don't have to worry about the integration so you can just have mq as your solution to integrate between different applications so that is where mq is very powerful and uh, it is the best in uh, messaging uh, services software so the installation is nearly about to end okay just click finish and uh, yes yeah, next and uh, we will be running mqs and uh, service so it runs throughout as a service and, and runs always in this server so it will be like 24 cross 7 it, the service will be running in our system it will be only um, not running if we shut down this particular server I'll select next I don't want to see the release notes so I just unclick this but I want to launch MQ and click finish can miss this this as well So here we are, we have got uh, MQ version 8 installed in this Windows o system. So it's just a very simple installation, we don't have any complex steps over it. So that is all for this video. So we will be covering about the basic topics in my next video. So thanks for watching this. Thanks again. Bye.